I am officially back. Asteroid Fight Club. That's where it's at. All right. Crazy stuff is happening with Comet Leonard. A1. Right now, ish. It is having a disconnection event. Something unusual is happening in the tail of Comet Leonard. It's being disconnected. So that is crazy. This photograph taken by Gerald Rayman on Christmas Day is showing us how like half the comet tail is like, I'm out of here. I'm going somewhere else. So that's interesting. Comets are like dirty crap cat magical snowball dragons. You never know what they're going to do next. This comet's put on a better show than most people expected, including me. So that is cool. Let's hope it brings no bad omens. And ladies and gentlemen, I please hope you shall bear with me because I am readjusting and recalibrating from a fantastic December so far. I went on vacation with my mom to Florida in the middle, and then I went home to DFW. I got to hang out with the whole dang huge family and had one of the best Decembers I've had in over a decade. Yeah, we got a big, impressive sunspot turning towards Earth. One of the biggest sunspots of solar shackle 25 is facing Earth. We're talking about AR2916 with multiple dark cores. I know, it was like a, right before I went on vacation, there were no sunspots on the sun. And then me and my mom hung out in Florida. And then there were 11 sunspots on the sun. And now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, including the big bad boy 2916, which... I'd heard a rumor lost its gamma delta. Can I help you help you help your configuration or whatever? It'll take a second for my science to click back in. And the fact that the James Webb Space Telescope had a successful launch on Christmas Day was pretty awesome in my opinion. And Asteroid Fight Club, I can't thank you enough. You guys have been so freaking incredible and awesome to me over the years. Definitely in 2020 and 2021 which were pretty dang rough years in my opinion. But I think we have made it through the worst, but definitely stay um, on Asteroid Fight Club awareness levels. Pretty please and thank you. Green Flash. And I was super duper mega pleasantly surprised when we had our third Saturn Square Uranus event and there were no major casualties, at least in North America or the Central Americas. You know, cause, and I thought it was weird because for the February 2021 first Saturn square Uranus with the big freeze down that hit Texas, they shut down our power grid and 400 people died. And then in June, the second Saturn square Uranus event, we had a giant heat wave hit BC, Canada, and a thousand people died. So I was very worried about the third one, which happened on Christmas Eve. So we got a combination of like the first one and the second one, but luckily there were no major mass casualty events though. So I was very grateful for that. It was weird to see it kind of happen like this in real time, but you did have two dams break Sunday in Northeastern Brazil, causing a strong flash flood that forced thousands to flee their homes. Officials are trying to distribute food mattresses and warm clothing to the victims. Hopefully there was not a major loss of life, but this was definitely a major disaster and is still ongoing. And I want to say thank you again to police officers and first responders for the last two years with all the natural disasters, the volcanoes, the floods, and you know, the COVID. I think that they have done a great job, uh, heavily under stressed and the doctors and the nurses as well like it has been just one weird ride we got a big energetic shift coming up in 24 hours as jupiter leaves aquarius and goes into pisces with neptune and uh this is cool for jupiter and sagittarius is because for like the last few years jupiter has been in the same sign aquarius with saturn and then before that it was capricorn with Saturn. Remember uh, 
they both entered Aquarius on the same day at the end of 2020. That was so divine, architecturally crazy. Anywho, so things may get better, but I think we will see a lot of, you know, possibly rain and floods amongst hopefully peace, love, and healing on Earth, as we sure have endured a lot since the 1999 Y2K bug scare that I guess grew into COVID. Who knows? We got a long time to talk about it. The CDC announced today that people can now argue about vaccines and the virus 50% less. So congratulations. But danger still all around. On Wednesday, we have a major storm that will be moving through the southeast of the United States. And then, like six days from now, which I guess would be Sunday, we're going to have another major area of storms to watch out for. And anytime they put up a yellow dot of like, hey, you should watch this shit. Six days in advance, that means there's a good chance something nasty is coming. And we have had some major disasters in December. We had the horrible December 15th tornadoes that killed over, I think, 100 people in the south. And Mother Nature tends to pick on the same area when she gets stuck in a pattern. And so that area absolutely doesn't, I don't think we need to be told twice, to let us play defense through this week in that area through these storms. And so I'm going to have to rebalance because, like, I've honestly had the best Christmas I've had in a decade. Um, and so my optimism is full-fledged, but I realize shit is pretty super funked up still. Um, a lot of people in California have been enjoying the rain. That is good news. There have been no major mudslides. The earthquakes have stayed pretty civil. That is also wonderful news. you got more heavy rain coming to the Pacific Northwest. Right now you're getting some yellow invasion here, so... It's okay to put out a super duper high red alert for this storm coming up in a few days, which is what I'm doing now. So you've been getting some epic cold up north and then some epic heat in the south. When I got home today or last night from Hughes or from DFW Fort Worth, uh, I forgot that my apartment air conditioner was broken. And so my apartment was like 85 all night long just because of the natural temperature. I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to take it. I can't take it like this. And then they fixed my AC today, which I was super grateful for. I'm super grateful for all the helpful people out there on the planet. But yeah, we got a lot of shit coming up. We've got severe weather to look out for. This is over the next three to seven days. You got heavy rains combined with that heavy snow up in the Great Lakes area. We're going to get some super freezy, frosty temperatures up in the north as the DLT pattern continues. And then the Pacific Northwest and possibly the monsoonal regions will be getting heavy snow. And then and possible rain, and then high winds, and crazy weather possible in Alaska. I do like to admit when I'm wrong, and I said I think when Jupiter enters Pisces with Neptune and leaves Saturn all alone in Aquarius, we'll see cryptocurrency uh, take a hit and go down. Technically, Jupiter hasn't entered Pisces yet, which will happen in about 24 hours, but there's a chance it could be wrong. You know, I'll wait like four or five days until after the event to see if anything happens, but hey, I could be totally wrong about that. I did drop from the high of 63. Nobody knows what's going to happen next with the old cryptocurrencies, I guess. Question mark. We shall see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I think good things are still possible. I think 2021 was better than 2020. And I think 2022 might actually be better than 2021. COVID has been raging to the northern states. You know, and it's, it's like I told everybody in like September and October, almost like 75% of everybody in Texas got COVID. And then... You know, we, we got through, and so that happened, that is happening in a lot of parts of the North right now, but hopefully they say the Omicron variant is not as deadly or hospitalizing as the Delta. Let it, let's hope that holds true, and let's hope the break of right after this happens in South Africa, it broke and then dropped way down, so let's hope that Jupiter and Pisces and Neptune magic works. We shall see, though. I would still play defense as best you can, okay? But yeah, it's supposed to be like 83, 84 degrees in Houston on the very last day of the year in December. So shit is definitely weird. Is I would call it volcano weather. First images from the James Webb Space Telescope have come in from a galaxy far, far away. I thought we blew up the Death Star. Now these aren't the first images. It'll take it a couple months to unfold, and so technically you can't relax and be like, hell yeah, James Webb Space Telescope, Space Force, USA, NASA, Earth, ESA, we all did it for like uh, 
couple more months and then hopefully it'll work and we will get amazing images we shall see though stay tuned all right i got a lot to talk about so i'll try and put a couple of videos if you guys are okay with that and because Astro Fight Club is so amazingly awesome to me and great to me all the time, uh, I'm now within $370 of making the December fundraiser for Thor News. If you'd like to contribute, it would be greatly appreciated, but at this point I already feel like the luckiest man on the planet. Um, thank you so much to everybody out there who's ever sent me any love. Definitely thank you to Astro Fight Club, and I gotta say thank you to Michelle. Courtney, Ben, Dave J, Kendiva, Tommy, John, JJ, Patricia, Andrea, Grandma Andy, Nancy, Sean and Nextina, Greg, The Wizard of Oz, Anita, Stephanie, Charles, William, Roxana, Rod, Darlene, Dave, Jason, Carol, Robert, Barbara, The Goods, The Texas Angel, Mist, Alexis, Max, Lauren, Richard, Glenda, Arnica, Lightsoul, Dan, Marlita, Ryan, and KJ, and everybody else. You guys are so fantastic. I am so overfilled with blessings and humbleness and just thank yous. I, I, I am Mr. Brightside, and I do think things will get better. And you guys are awesome and amazing. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And super duper special thanks to God, Jesus Christ, and the Son for the big December assist. This has been one of the best Decembers I've had in years. And I'm so grateful for that. It's like you got to know valleys to appreciate peaks. We have definitely seen our fair share of battles over the last few years. And I have a feeling, no disrespect to Saturn, but Jupiter's definitely going to enjoy the next five to six months of hanging out with Neptune and Pisces way more than he did hanging out in a Capricorn and Aquarius to Saturn. We'll see, though. Stay tuned and thank you all again. Stay cool. I will be around making videos to the end of the year recapping shit because man what a year and i'm so proud of you and us that we survived and hope is still alive and our sense of humor is are intact god bless everyone have a great night and happy new year and thank you thank you thank you